Oh, what a pretty kitty. But we'll need those pants. Okay, then. How about we split them up? Ooh, these pants need a new job. Take a slice off of this plastic hamper. Wrap the pants around the new rim. Oh, did Bigfoot lose a croc? Even better, it's your new cat bed. Oh, there's nothing sadder than a cat person without a cat. Luckily, it looks like that's about to change. Oh, it's a kitty, and she's so fluffy. Something tells me that's not rain. Whatever it is, it's coming with a chance of kittens. Ooh, are you having a tom or a queen? Two of each? Mommies in the making need lots of love and attention. Especially when they start shedding. Don't worry, our cat brush will fix you right up. This'll catch all that excess hair. Ew. And disposal couldn't be easier. Who wants a paw rub? Let's tuck you in and count some white mice. Huh, this curtain just sparks inspiration. From table to fort, a cat fort. Complete with a big fluffy teddy bear. Bring those two bear paws together. And keep them that way. Add a cushion. It's your own little chair in your own little corner. Wow, construction's thirsty work, you know. No, but save some water. It's just what our toilet water dish needs. So fresh and clean, you'll want a sip for yourself. Don't forget some TP, always comes in handy. After all, accidents do happen. Some kibble will pair great with all this water. Oh, there's a prize. Oh, we found Nemo. Of course, every fish needs a bowl. Why not add a little island in the middle? Just add water, too. Now it's all ready for our robot fish. Round and round they go. Ooh, careful! Oh, I think you broke that brush. No matter, those bristles look all right. Just add some glue and it's a new scratching post. Wow, you sure go through a lot of brushes. <laughs> Ugh, we need to get a litter box in here. In the meantime, Ew. it's time for a little 52 pickup. Ew. Looks like she's got an idea. And just in time, too. Start by cutting a little door on the side. Maybe something in this old Christmas box will help. No, not this. Not that. Aha! Our tiny Christmas tree. I knew it wasn't such a bad little tree after all. In fact, we'll need a few to cover up the sides. Just lay out the green carpet and a plastic bag. Don't forget to glue it all together. Add some sand, like every litter box needs. Uh, gravity is just not your friend today. 
but cardboard is far more agreeable. You can make it into all sorts of new things. All it needs is some old Christmas lights. And why not add a pillow at the bottom? I think your bird shedding <laughs> must be catching. Eh, loose feathers means crafting supplies. Add this to a string and add some beads. Let's hang these up like a beaded curtain. And it's the perfect place for all your old gum. We should add a pillow on top. And look, there's even a door! We'll need stairs, unless cats can fly. Ooh, nice pom-pom. Can we borrow it? A few of these will brighten up the doorway. Oh, I think Kitty wants to help. Uh, maybe not. Either way, this broom is just what we needed. Take an empty box and fill it up with a bunch of bristles. Pour a little cement on the bottom. Not too much. We want those bristles sticking out, so Kitty can play with them. Uh-oh. Hope we didn't use up all our brooms. Hey, there's something in the plant pot. Oh, it helps you make paw prints. And we've got plenty of paws. This is going right in our collage. Ooh, beach balls on tap. Now that's fancy. But let's not forget about all that string either. Wrap it around and glue it into place. Now all we need is something to stand it on. And something sharp. Don't worry, I said we've got them on tap. Cut an opening. It'll help get the ball out. And your kitty cat in. Wow, someone tell that ostrich we found her egg. It looks like it's ready to hatch. Let's help. Ooh, confetti. And a cute baby duck. Sure had a lot of room in there. Looks like someone's got a new best friend. Meanwhile, let's have fun with all this laundry. These green tights are just what we needed. Start by folding one into the other. And tie them to these chair legs. You've got a little hammock right in your room. So who wants to try it out? Any takers? What happened to our feline friend? Well, at least we've got a sock. So many holes. Let's make some more. Take these tubes and add frills toward the end. <laughs> Accessorize and your kitty friend's got a brand new outfit. Put your paw through and you're photo ready. Perfect time for a snack break. But first, let's have some fun with the container. We really just need the bottom. It works even better than tracing paper. Draw the outline and then color it in. When you're finished, cut it out. Leave some room to punch a hole in at the top. Now we just need to add some heat. This will shrink things down to size. It's the right size for our new necklace. 
all dressed up for a nice night at home. <laughs> Your brand new cat home. Let's explore. Wow, those cats know how to live. Guess somebody's got some cat scratch fever. Now that's a bear hug. Time to descend the stairs like you just had a makeover. And there's so many places to cat nap. But I think this is her favorite spot. <laughs> Instant cats. Just add water. <laughs> and they say cats don't like water. <laughs> Let's just sneak on by. Aww. Nothing to see. Home free. Oh, coochie coo. <laughs> this is gonna be a great day. Oh, I jinxed it. Hmm. This bed could use a makeover anyway. Remove this wood. Add a panel to the side. Oh, anyone getting dizzy? A fresh coat of paint fixes up everything. All three walls. Let's see what we can do for the outside. A stencil pattern. Let's spread on some paint. Who says we need a brush? Besides, this is much faster. Peel off. On second thought, a brush can take care of the little details. Look, a cat face. As if you didn't guess who this was for. Hmm, this hole looks scratchy. And not the kind cats like. This cat door will help make an easy entrance. And with the help of these toothbrushes, the cats will get the scratches they like. Let's take a quick tour, shall we? This grass carpet will please the wild cat inside your pet. What else can we add? Hmm, an old pizza box? Cover with tape, and you can make a few steps. Steps right to the cat's own private bathroom. Meet the new and improved litter box. Now, what else do cats like? How about this? Take some rope and twist it around a base. Tie it so it's nice and tight. And your cat has a new scratching post. What else? Maybe they'll like that pigeon. Oh, even better. Take a desk drawer. Add pillows, cushions, and some toys. And it's a brand new bed. Here's something we can add to the wall. Now your cats have their own private television. Oh, it's getting hot in here. You know, the cats might want a drink. So, let's give them their own fountain. After all, it's easy to get hot when you can't take off your fur coat. Always smart to try things out before trying on the cats. Now that they have water, they might want something to nibble on, too. And we're going all natural with cat grass. And there's plenty of room for a bowl full of cat chow. But let's keep the fridge stocked with wet food, just in case. Everything's really coming together. Let's add some more toys. <laughs> Well, he's off to Wonderland. What's down there anyway? Ooh, candy. Oh, this bowl should fill up the hole. It's the perfect place for some cat toys. And if the cats are feeling a bit hungry at playtime, this toy's the perfect thing. Just add food. See, they'll get a treat when they spin it around. That'll keep them active. <laughs> hey, can we borrow this pillow? Now take some tights and cut them up. 
We need an X shape with some material in the middle. Tie each of the two opposite ends together. It's like a bed and swing all in one. Let's test it out. You know, these buttons can help get their point across. They can tell us when they want water, food, or even playtime. It's a bit too small to be a staircase. But we can still use the base. Attached to the wall, and we've got stairs after all. Hey, you're not using this giant bucket, are you? <gasps> Thanks! Huh? Now that we've cleaned it out, we'll cut out an opening. Huh, what else do we need? How about more toys? You can never have enough cat toys. And we can use them for a project. Hot glue them to the patch from earlier. You remember from the hole? Add them to the bottom of our can for a soft cushion. Now break out the power tools. We're drilling some holes. After making a few, run some thread through them. It's kind of like a checkerboard pattern. The cats are gonna be so happy. Where are they anyway? I uh, think you've got a little something there. Oh, that gives me an idea. Add hot glue, press it down, and it's as good as laminated. Perfect for keychains or personalized collars. This cat toy's interactive. Let's add it to our collection. Cats sure have good taste. This looks fun. Cat food? Maybe we should leave some things to the cats. Oh, it's just a toy. And we've got the perfect place for it. You know, it's a little small. We need to think bigger. Let's get a large glass container filled with water. Fill with stones and marbles. Add a plant. And the finishing touch, these cute little fish. I spy with my little eye, well, her eye, eyes, a plastic bottle. Empty it and cut it up. Take the bottom and hot glue some string in the middle. Now use the string to reattach the two pieces. Add a pom-pom to the top and fill with cat chow. Hang it up. More snacks? These are gonna be some lucky cats. Cool, a laser for our cats to catch. Let's try it out. Either it's the laser or she needs to clean her pores. Hard to catch? Just what we need. What's on your head? It's like a fidget spinner. Let's add to the wall. What can't be improved with the addition of stickers? These pictures will help give it a more homey feel. Some more toys. Cats sure know how to live. Maybe we can put this tablecloth to better use. As the curtains for our brand new cat hangout. Yeah, this is where all the cool cats come to play. Great place for a nap. You gotta for a big day of sleeping. Still, look at all the fun stuff to do. Eat grass. Use stuffed animals as a floor. Or just relax. Looks like someone's ready to play too. 
or maybe just stretch. You gotta love all the accommodations. And there's still so much more to explore. Who needs steps when you have a giant scratching post to climb? Unwind, watch a little TV, have a drink. Oh no, mm -hmm. he's found the cats. I mean, what cats? Huh? Oh, it's love at first sight. Meow, horrific stuff. Catch you next time. People save baby footprints. Why not do the same for your fur babies? And here comes the fun part. Breaking it all to pieces. Huh, this cat doesn't look like he belongs to anyone. So let's fix that. Make your shirt into a pouch. And bring him to your house. Which shall henceforth be his house. Cats usually clean themselves, but this looks like a big job. At least skin's easier to clean than fur. This looks like a job for one of our gadgets! A cat brush. And when you're done, look how easy it is to remove the hair which also makes it easy to use in crafts. After all, cat hair is better as earmuffs than on your couch. Huh? While we're at it, let's do something about those nails. <coughs> but why stop at just cleaning those nails? These clips fit right on. And think of all the money we'll save on polish. <laughs> wow, lipstick for paws. I would have just called it paw stick. <laughs> Good idea, a massager. You know, it's hard work being a cat. Yeah, you should feel nice and relaxed. Now how can we make this dinner table more cat friendly? Maybe this cardboard box can help. After all, cats already prefer the box to whatever's inside. And you can do no wrong with some colored tape. Look at all these colors. It's like a rainbow of tape. Ew. With this plastic bowl, we can make a window. If only it was this easy making a window into a bowl. Aww. What else can we add? <gasps> Honestly, I'm not surprised lawns are free. With all that hassle of mowing them, some people might even pay you to take it. Some free clothes just lying around. Could be useful. Ah yes, jeans. Like your skirt, but with legs. Let's stuff it up with some of these other clothes. And tie the legs up together like a pretzel. Our project is almost done. Just add the roof. And a few finishing touches, like these sticky notes. Place them down in a pattern like roof shingles. Oh. Hmm, what else is nice and sticky? Great idea, a sticker. We can personalize our furry friend's new home away from home. Is there <laughs> anything else a cat would like? <gasps> Ooh. These brushes will make fun self-groomers. What else do cats like? <gasps> Clothespins? 
Do cats like clothespins? Okay, I see where she's going with this. A fish mobile. Furnishing a house has never been so delicious. Oh, and what a lovely picture frame. Excuse us, we're just gonna borrow this too. Wow, this mat fits inside the frame. What are the odds? And now we have a brand new scratching post. This flower pot has a lot of space. Cut it open and it's a perfect private makeshift litter box. Oh, water. Cats need water too, right? Let's add a cat water fountain. Just add water. It looks like our fish mobile is yeah. getting nice and pungent. Do you have anything else we could add? These beads could add just the right touch. Let's just run some thread through them. This would make a great friendship bracelet. Wow! But now, tie up the excess string and cut. This way, it ends in a little pom-pom. Make different sizes for your new beaded curtains. <laughs> Next, let's cut up a hole in this stool. Add a plate right on top. And with the help of these silicone molds, we can fill it up with the best custom-made snacks. Just think of all these different flavors. Hmm. She's got that look in her eyes. She's got ideas Ooh. for this traffic cone. We'll need to cut up this plastic bottle and add hot glue. Add some around the rim to soften things up. Add to the cone. And fill it up with even more cat treats. <laughs> of course, what's a cat house without a ball of yarn? Except we're gonna use it for our next craft. I wonder if this girl's ever played Cat's Cradle. I feel like it'd be right up her alley. Oh, these plush toys would be great for that net we just made. Of course, you can't have much of a cat house without a cat. Let's see how he likes it. Does he love it or does he love it? A free hat? Well, these wonders never cease. He's having a lot of fun looking at stuff. And would you look at that, he's potty trained with an actual pot. Now to kick back with a nice snack. And some more snacks. The only thing better than having a cat is being a cat. Meow, amazing stuff. Catch you next time. Aw, poor little rich girl. Oh no, what's gonna happen to all her pets? I mean, think of the hamster. All these bristles should make paw cleaning a breeze. And look, it's electric. Just press the button and add water. And just in time, too. Look at those dirty paws. It's like a before and after. Let's fix that. Much better. Wow. But let's try out the homemade version. Ew. It's a cup, but what do we do for bristles? Good idea.
Don't forget to add water. And by the looks of it, you'll need to power it yourself. It looks like it works just as well. You'll save quite a bit if you put in some elbow grease. Yes, it's playtime. Bring on the toys. It's like a carrot patch with hidden treasure. Never underestimate a puppy's sense of smell. I sense a pattern. Oh, look under the carrots. Now let's see if we can make our own fun. If you ever wanted to play tic-tac-toe with animals, now you know how. Wait, do you have to eat the treats too? And it looks like we have a winner. And he's such a good sport. Finally, something for the hamsters. Wow, this is like the easiest maze ever. You win, and the prize is hamster snacks. Maybe we can have some fun with this tube too. Ew. Soon we'll have our own little labyrinth. And we can add extensions too. Just keep on eating chips. Speaking of snacks, either way, he's happy with the end result. Next up is a little something special for the cat. Wow! This combines the fun of an avocado with the things cats go nuts for, catnip. This kitty's gonna sleep well tonight. Now, what can we do with this toilet paper roll? First, cut it up into four pieces. Fold them together into a sphere and add a treat inside. And once again, the game begins. Oh, it's not free. It's priceless. Which one will she choose? I would have picked the one for the hamster. Just think of all the leg room. Being carried around, it's the only way to travel. Now it's time to try this giant mm. tote bag. Yes, never underestimate the power of legroom. Just don't make the holes too big or Aww. she'll escape. Wow. And everyone can give your pupper a nice foot rub. Of course, pets need to stay hydrated when you carry them around. And with a few little twists and turns, it becomes a fountain. Maybe we can do the same by cutting it up. Like all our best crafts, it's time to add some fire. Stick in a bottle of water. Loosen the cap and let gravity do its job. 
Either way, the dogs like it. Scratching posts. Because, like the best of us, cats just know the importance of getting your nails done. Well, it's a good shape, but will it be good for scratching? This yarn should help. After all, it is yarn. And cats kind of have a thing for yarn. Aww. Let's just hot glue everything into place. And add a mustache. You know, just to keep things fancy. Good, those nails are getting quite a workout. With googly eyes and a hat, it's a pretty good deal. But grooming isn't entirely your pet's responsibility. Hmm. These bristles will help clean up your cat's coat. Just in time, too. Ew. With all that hair, we can make a new cat. Yuck. Told ya. Well, we've got the glove, but what about those bristles? Ah, yes, hot glue. Just remember to let it dry. Well, the cat liked it, but it didn't really do anything. The toy cat can keep this. Now your cat can spend hours trying to catch fish. So after teasing him like this, you owe him a nice tuna dinner. Let's see if we can make our own version of this. Besides just letting your cat near a fish tank. Of course, adding catnip sure helps. And now you've got a kitty original to hang on the wall. What a deal! Well, when it comes to your cat's litter box, it's usually for the best to splurge. Cats need their privacy after all. I wonder if they synchronized this in advance. Probably should talk to your vet about this. Ew. Yeah, let's not waste a perfectly good sock. Here's a better idea. Let's make our own private litter box. Cool. Just need to make a door in this shelf. And add litter to the bottom. Now a cat can walk in whenever they need to. Though seriously, I'd really ask your vet about your cat and produce. As always, our animal actors were real professionals. Though the human one really could have learned a thing or two from them. Animal-amazing stuff, right? Catch you next time.